AMI More Cell System Surgical Instructions video. For the application of the More Cell System, two commercially available 12 mm trocar accesses with CO2 connection are needed, which are placed umbilically and suprapubic. Only insert morselators and trocars that have blunt obturators into the More Cell bag to avoid damaging the More Cell bag. 1. Insert the suprapubic 12mm trocar. Adjust the size of the incision to the size of the morselator to avoid damaging the morsel bag. 2. Grip the morsel bag by the eyelets with atraumatic 5mm grasping forceps. 3. Insert the more cell bag 3 to 4 cm into the suprapubic 12 mm trocar while simultaneously removing the protective cover. A. Insert the more cell bag making sure that when it is opened intra-abdominally, the bag opens ventrally. This will make the placement of the specimen in the bag easier. Do not hold onto the white loop at the end of the large opening when removing the protective cover. Four, once the eyelets are visible in the abdomen, release the eyelets and remove the atraumatic grasping forceps from the 12 mm trocar. 5. Grip the Morcel bag with atraumatic grasping forceps through one of the lateral trocars and pull the bag into the abdomen. Grab the metal ring of the large opening to pull the Morcel bag open in the abdominal cavity. The white loop at the end of the large opening of the Morcel bag must be visible and accessible outside of the suprapubic 12 mm trocar. To avoid the Morcel bag being placed upside down, check if the AMI logo is correctly readable. Six. Insert the specimen to be morselated into the morsel bag through the large opening. Use the suprapubic trocar access for grasping the specimen. Once again, check if the morsel bag's logo is correctly readable to confirm proper positioning. Keeping the large opening open using the lateral trocars can ease placement of the specimen in the bag. Seven, remove the suprapubic 12 millimeter trocar. Eight, remove all instruments from the lateral trocars. The white loop at the end of the large opening must be accessible outside of the suprapubic incision. Number 9. Withdraw the large opening of the Moore cell bag under laparoscopic visual control. Pull the white loop until the beginning of the Moore cell bag is visible above the suprapubic incision. To avoid damaging the large opening, do not pull the Moore cell bag through the 12 mm trocar. Once visible, clamp the top of the bag to ensure the bag remain in place.
Number 10. Grasp the green loop at the end of the small opening of the Morsel bag using the atraumatic grasping forceps. Under laparoscopic visual control, pull the green loop from the intra-abdominal cavity into the umbilical trocar. Simultaneously, advance the atraumatic grasper, grasping the green loop through the length of the trocar while slowly withdrawing the umbilical trocar using the rendezvous technique. Once the atraumatic grasper with green loop is sufficiently beyond the level of the skin, completely withdraw both the scope and the umbilical 12 millimeter trocar. At this point, the atraumatic grasper will be holding the green loop above the level of the umbilical skin incision. Do not draw any small opening of the Moore cell system into the trocar sleeve or towards the valve of the umbilical 12 millimeter trocar to avoid damaging the neck of the small opening. Number 11, while holding the green loop by hand, remove the grasping forceps. Twelve. Holding the green loop with your fingers, pull the small opening out of the incision until the connection between the small opening and the large bag appears above the skin. Pull only on the green loop to ensure that the folded section of the neck is retained. Thirteen, widen the umbilical incision if necessary so that a 12 millimeter trocar can be inserted into the small opening unhindered. Make sure to not damage the Moore cell bag. Fourteen, insert the 10 millimeter laparoscope completely into the visi shield. The laparoscope's distal end must be clean and in contact with the viewing window of the Visi Shield. Fifteen. Insert the 12 millimeter trocar blunt obturator into the small opening. Connect CO2 to the trocar and push the neck of the Morsell bag up to the 12 millimeter trocar until the trocar tip is visible at the connection between the small opening and the large bag. Once visible, insert the trocar fully into the abdomen. Then remove the obturator and insufflate the Morsell bag. Alternatively, insert the laparoscope with attached visi shield instead of the blunt obturator. Do not perforate the Morsell bag when inserting the 12 millimeter trocar. Sixteen, insert the 10 millimeter laparoscope with the visi shield through the 12 millimeter trocar into the Morsell bag. Check whether the Morsell bag has completely unfurled. If necessary, insufflate further. Seventeen, if not done already, Adjust the size of the suprapubic incision to the size of the morselator to avoid damaging the morsel bag.
Before inserting the morselator into the morsel bag, ensure that unhindered insertion is possible by sticking a finger in the large opening and checking for any obstacles. Look for the lines on the morsel bag as an indication that the large opening is aligned with the suprapubic incision correctly. Insert the morselator with a blunt obturator through the large opening of the morsel bag. Nineteen. Morselate and remove the specimen out of the morsel bag. It is important to protect the morsel bag against mechanical damage by the morselator and or grasping forceps. Only perform morselation when tissue specimen is centered within the morsel bag. After finishing morselation, check the contents of the bag and make sure that there are no remaining tissue specimens that are greater than one centimeter cubed. Tissue specimens greater than one centimeter cubed in volume that are inadvertently left in the bag can lead to damage of the bag during removal from the abdomen. Twenty. Once the morselator is finished, remove the morselator. Twenty-one. Remove the 10 millimeter laparoscope along with the Visi Shield from the 12 millimeter trocar. Remove the Visi Shield from the laparoscope and dispose of it. 22. Remove the 12 millimeter trocar and either reprocess or dispose of it. Change contaminated gloves. 23. Completely unfold the folded section of the neck. 24. Close the neck by tying two knots behind one another on the upper part of the neck. At least one knot must be where the previously folded section of the neck was. Do not tie the green loop at the end of the small opening into the knots to avoid leakage of bag contents. 5 the second knot in the area between the first knot and the large bag. Tie the two knots adjacent to one another. Tie the two knots securely. Once the morsel bag is completely deflated, grip the morsel bag by the large opening and slowly pull it out through the suprapubic incision. Twenty-six. Once out of the abdomen, check the morsel bag for damage and conduct a follow-up check in the abdomen using a laparoscopic camera to ensure that none of the specimen was missed. Never use products that were contaminated during the morsel bag procedure during the follow-up check. Additional information and videos regarding the use of the products can be found on the website www.amiat.com and product more cell system.